I'm a little panicked about surfing. I'm gonna be just as panicked. I'm more of a like stand up like this and then panic wipe out. Yeah, I so. feel like that's where my lane's gonna be. Still very fun. You've never been to Maui before, right? I was in Maui as a kid and didn't leave the hotel room. And I was just sick and bored and chubby <laughs> and pale and like angry. Well, that's all gonna change this weekend. Well, we'll still be chubby, but well, hopefully it won't be as pale. You know, if you can't tone it, tan it. At this point, you know I'm a beach guy. Good luck finding my tan lines. I signed us up for a surf lesson on day one. I know once you land, you gotta get them feet in the sand. Let's get wet. Let's get wet. <laughs> I've never even been on a boogie board, really. Really? Yep. Oh, we're going to have fun. All right, hey, guys, how's it going? Our instructor? Yeah. What's up, man, John? Hey, John. Hey, I'm Adam. Nice, nice to meet nice. you, dude. From You're the swells my... of the ocean, bro. <laughs> know each other. Full disclosure, I've never surfed okay. before. I've never ridden a boogie board. Okay. I'm a city rat, That's you know? Cool. So take it easy. We're going to take you from A to Z. We'll keep it super simple. When we're going from A to Z, can we stop at B, C, D? We'll, we'll stop can we like, stop yeah. at all those letters? If you guys put on your rash guards, you're gonna lay on your boards and your belly, and we'll just do a quick land lesson. Dang, bro! Hercules! Hercules! The way you're gonna turn is just pull in opposite direction. It's almost like if you were in a canoe or something. That analogy is tough for me. I've never been in a canoe. All right, you're you're on the subway. Someone's coming in. You need to get off, and you have like two. Excuse stories. me. Yep. Excuse me. Yeah. Excuse Got me. You. Exactly. Got it. So we're gonna go. Boom. These come up underneath you, right like that. Now front foot's gonna come up straight through. There you go, good. You're gonna plant that back foot. All right. What do I do with my dick? With your what? My dick. Tuck it. Tuck it. Keep it tucked the Got whole it. time. I mean, you can't come to Hawaii and just smash Mai Tais at the pool. Treat yourself to some fucking nature. Up. These are bigger than they were before. You didn't stand up, but you rode away. <laughs> Next one, last one. Oh, oh f me. Come on, come on. Go, man. You got it, go! Yes! Yes! Yes, dude! Yeah! Surfing is kind of like sex. It's difficult, <laughs> strenuous, but in the end, for five seconds, it's, it feels amazing. <laughs> The fun thing about hosting a travel show is that you get paid to reconnect with friends who've moved away. And I get to reconnect with my friend, Zach Knighton, who I was paid to be friends with on a show called Happy Endings. And I don't care as long as this dude shows up with a case of beer. He's cool by me. I saw you get up on that. Did you get up? Really good. Thank you. Is that... <laughs> Damn dirty ape. <laughs> A couple of years ago, I just text Adam and I go, man, your boy Zach in Hawaii, huh? And Adam goes, what, living the life you dreamed of? And I was like, <laughs> yes, actually. So we, we, you go from happy endings to playing a police officer in Magnum PI. Yes. Life is so good. I've lived here for four years. It's been incredible. And I'm in that phase in my life where my focus is my family now, my yeah. kids. And Actually, we were talking about this show, and I said, you got to come to Hawaii, and I, I need to be a part of it. And that was literally the first thing. I was like, I'm calling Zach. <laughs> Just because he needs to get out of his house. <laughs>